Hey, this is Summer with Summerly Design Co. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I knit color work socks. Um, I've kind of perfected a method that works really well for me, and that is pretty fuss free, easy, moves pretty fast. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you today. I use color work in a lot of my patterns. I especially love designing color work pattern sets. Um, my newest one is the Summerland sock set, and it's got five different patterns, and a couple of them are color work that you see here. And I will put a link to this sock set in the description of the video in case you want to check that out. And then I've got my midwinter sock set. Um, and these are also just simple, great for beginners, color work sock patterns where you can knit up some beautiful socks and really get comfortable doing color work. Um, on socks, it's a little different than sweaters. You really have to worry about fit because color work does kind of reduce the stretch of socks because of the floats. And so it can be a little bit harder to get color work socks over the heel of your foot unless you do a couple of things to make sure you've got enough room um, because it decreases that stretch. So typically you knit color work on slightly larger needles or you can increase the number of stitches you're working with. I usually just use larger needles when I knit color work and that works great. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. So my process is very simple. I've got a cuff here already knit up. Typically when I do color work socks, I knit the cuff, heels, and toes on my typical US size one 2.25 needles. I'm a magic loop knitter, so I'll go ahead and knit the cuff, I'll do the toes, I'll do the heels on magic loop. But when I'm ready to do the color work portion, I switch to tiny circulars. And I've got a couple here. Um, these are just standard tiny circulars. These are from Chiagu and the needles are the same size. The ones I really like, these are Addy Easy Socks. And as you can kind of see, one needle is longer than the other. And I found that that really helps with hand cramping. I get hand cramps pretty bad when I use tiny circulars. But I found that the more I do it, and especially using these where one needle is a little bit longer, really helps with that. So I really don't get the bad hand cramping with these. So I use my same method, Magic Loop, for cuffs, heels, toes, and I switch to tiny circulars, these Addy Easy socks, when I knit the body of the Color Work sock. So here's what I do. Once I've knit my cuff, I just go ahead and I transfer all the stitches onto the tiny circular. And you could knit these onto the tiny circular if you want. I think it's easier just to go ahead and slide them on and just get it all set up and ready to go. That way I'm not fiddling with two different needles at one time. Um, so yeah, I just slide them off and just get them onto the tiny circular once that cuff is knit up. I like my cuffs to be fitted, so that's why I like to knit them on my standard size one, same with the toes and the heels. I really only switch to the larger size two, 2.75 millimeter needles when I'm knitting the body of the sock. And again, as I said earlier, this really helps ensure that you can fit the color work sock over the heel of your foot because color work does reduce the stretch of the fabric since you've got those strands of yarn, those floats on the wrong side of the fabric. So you need just a little bit bigger of a sock to make sure that it fits. So that's why I go up a needle size. All right, so I've got one side on there and now I'm ready to get the other side. Go ahead and slide this down. And again, there's lots of different ways to knit color work. I mean, you can do it all on Magic Loop if you want to. I think that's a little bit fussy because you have to catch your floats at the ends of your needles. Um, you can do it all on double pointed needles. That's certainly how it was done for centuries. Um, but again, for me, I just find that a little bit fussy. I find that I knit the fastest, I get the neatest, cleanest results, and it's the least fussy whenever I do color work on a tiny circular. I'm knitting totally in the round, not having to catch floats at the end and beginning of new needles 
And since you're managing different yarn too, it just makes it a lot simpler if you're only having to manage one needle, not four, or even with magic loop, you know, having to go back and forth between the back and the front needle. So that's really why I prefer knitting on tiny circulars to do color work. And again, this method works really well for me. It may not be your favorite. You might prefer double pointed or magic loop for color work and that's okay. I'm just kind of showing you how I do it. Um, and you can see how easy it is. All right. So now I've got all my stitches on the tiny circulars ready to go, kind of spread them out a little bit. And this first round, when you switch to tiny circulars, is always a little tight the first couple of rounds, but then once you, you know, really get a few rounds in, it loosens up and it's a lot easier um, to knit. So yeah, so now I've got my stitches on the tiny circular and I am ready to knit the body of the sock. So now I'm going to show you how I knit color work. So first I'm going to bring in my main color of yarn and I'm going to join that in and knit a few stitches. Oh, wait, stitch marker. <laughs> Put that in to mark the beginning of the round. That's really important. All right, when I join in a new color, I just kind of loop it over the needle like that, and then knit, and then after I've knit a few rows, I'll go back and tie it with the old color just to keep it in place so that I can weave it in later. All right, now knit a few stitches in my new color, and I'm going to join in my contrasting color that's going to form the color work pattern. And once again, I am just going to drape that over the needle and knit. I only knit one stitch with that contrast color and then I'm knitting three stitches with my main color. All right, so the way that I do color work on tiny circulars, I am a dropper and a picker upper. <laughs> so I just dropped my contrasting color. I'm gonna knit three stitches with my main color And now I'm gonna drop that. And I'm gonna pick up my contrasting color, knit a stitch with that, and then drop it, pick up my main color, knit three stitches, and just keep doing that all the way around. Um, I totally like pinched a nerve <laughs> in my neck last night when I was sleeping somehow. And so I've got major robot syndrome going here. So I'm moving kind of slow um, filming this. But yeah, knit three stitches in my main color, drop it, pick up my contrasting color, knit a stitch, drop it, pick up my main color, and just keep going like that all the way around. And again, this first row, um, once you switch to the tiny circulars, can be a little tight and it can go a little bit slower, but once you've knit a few rows, it gets a lot faster. And it seems like it would be slow to be dropping your yarn, picking a new strand up, but you really get in a groove and I get going so fast. Um, I'm moving kind of slow for the video, but yeah, I just keep doing that all the way around. And here's a really cool thing. It's really simple to keep your yarn from getting tangled when you're knitting with two different strands of yarn. I keep my contrast color on the left of me and I keep my main color on the right and they don't get twisted that way. You're just dropping it. And when you bring up, you know, your contrast color, it comes up under that main color. And yeah, they never get twisted that way. So that is how I knit color work in the round on tiny circular. So that's what I do. And then whenever I'm ready to do the toes, I just put the needles back on my long circular to do magic loop and you would do that if you were doing you know double pointed needles whatever um so yeah i'll knit the whole body of the sock on this tiny circular in color work and then i'll come back to do the toes and the heels on my size one magic loop and that gives you a nice fitting sock you can see all my floats on the back of this one and that definitely reduces the stretch so knitting them on a slightly bigger needle, the body of the sock is what allows it to fit. 
So that's pretty much it. Doing my cuff, toes, heels on US size one, my normal way magic loop, and then just transferring the stitches to a US size two needle whenever I'm ready to do the body of the sock in color work. And that's how I knit all of my color work socks. And once again, I will post links to all of these color work patterns that I've got. This is a set of the Summerland sock set. It comes with more patterns in the set as well. These are just the color work socks that were included. I'll post a link to that in the description of the video. And then I will also post a link to the midwinter socks um, in the description of the video. And all of these socks I knit just like I showed you. Um, so it's really simple, really fun, really great way to get comfortable with color work on socks. I'm also gonna post a link to um, the needles that I used in the description of the video so that you can check those out if you want to. They're my two favorite. I love the Chiagu 40 inch US size one for sock knitting and I love these Addy Easy socks for doing color work. Um, so I'll post a link to that as well, as well as links to my Instagram, my Ravelry shop where all my patterns live, my Etsy shop my blog in case you ever want to check that out. Um, I'll post all those links below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.